In this video we're going to do some more pulling out of the greatest common factor. Uh, so we'll do these four uh, examples. So, um, you know, two types of example one, two types of example two, and then one of each of these. So we'll start with example one. x to the power of four plus two x squared. If we want to factorize that, um, we, well, one, one thing we're going to do is pull out the greatest common factor from both terms, okay? So, um, you could just do it and check it if you want, but, but one, one way to uh, make sure you pull out all the factors is to kind of factorize each term individually. So x to the power of 4 is x times itself 4 times, x times x times x times x, and 2x squared. How would you write 2x squared? Well, that's like 2 times an x squared is x times x, isn't it? Right? And what is common to both this term and this term? What can we see in both of these? Well, both of them, they both have uh, two x terms. That's what's common to both, right? And so we can pull that out. So we can write, okay, x times x is the common factor, that's the greatest common factor, GCF is x times x, right? And we pull that out and then we write parentheses, right? x times x times what gives this, well, you're left with the kind of the blue x times x, right? Plus what? Plus just the number 2, right? So what you have is, of course, x times x, of course, is x squared, right? times x times x here is x squared plus 2. And then we want to check this, okay? And hopefully uh, you've, enough, you've had enough practice to know that x squared times x squared is what? Well, it's 2x's times 2 more x's. That's 4x's being multiplied, or x to the power of 4, right? And what's x squared times 2? x squared times 2 is? Well, it's just 2x squared, right? So this is what we started with. So I've broken it all down just to show you, um, just to make it as clear as possible, right? So please press pause now and do this one yourself. So just to confirm, this is the correct answer, and this was just the check part, right? So please press pause and do this one yourself. The pause button should be located in the bottom left of your screen. Okay, so I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So 7x cubed is 7 times x times x times x, three of them, minus 42 times x. And for fun, we could write 42 as 7 times 6 and then times x, right? So what's common to this term and this term? Can you do it now if you haven't got it yet? Well, we have a 7 in each term and we have also an x in each term. So we can pull out a 7 and an x from both terms. So our greatest common factor would be 7 times x, right? 7x. If you pull 7x out from the first term, you get what's left over? x times x, right? And if you pull 7x out from this term, what's left over? Just the number 6. And you must keep the sign the same. It's still subtract, right? So the answer is that when I pull out the greatest common factor, I get 7x uh, times x squared minus 6. And that's the answer, okay? Now we can check that, just to make sure, and I advise you always to check these, or check some of them anyway. Especially check the one you do on a test, where it actually really counts towards your grade, always check those. But I'm just gonna check these so we can help us learn. But 7x times x squared, that's an x here and then two more. That's three x's being multiplied by each other, right? That gives us seven x cubed. And then seven x times negative six gives what? Seven x times negative six is minus 42 x, okay? So hopefully those ones make sense. And now we'll go on to these examples too, right? So press pause, just for fun, see if you can do this one. You've got 3x to the power of 5, minus 3x minus 18. Pull out a greatest common factor out of that. Okay, I hope you press pause and try it, because 
what the whole idea with the videos is that you make some mistakes uh, while you're practicing and then you play the video and then you you figure out oh I see where it went wrong and then you learn something but it's only uh, making mistakes is, is important part of learning algebra so if we look at this one mistake you might make is you might pull out an X and try to pull out an X but there's there's no X term here right there's an X term here and here and also like but we can pull out a 3 because you know 3 goes into 18 right so what we can do it but the, the greatest common factor we can find for this is in fact just the number 3 that's it right so we can only pull out the number 3 and 3 times what gives that 3 times x to the power of 5 now can you finish it if you haven't got it yet so minus x right minus what 3 times what gives 18 minus 6 right so 3 times and of course if we check it it should all work out so this should be obviously you should be able to probably check that in your head but 3 times x to the power of 5 is 3x to the power of 5 3 times negative x minus 3x 3 times negative 6 minus 18 okay now um, this term in here is a trinomial and 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 soon we'll be factorizing these guys but this is not x squared is it so you know right away you know you can't just factorize that with a simple trinomial factorization and in fact that's what, this is the final answer and this is all you're required to get so if you got as far as there you're done so please press pause and factorize this and you're just going to pull out the greatest common factor and then you'll be done with it okay so press pause and do this one yourself and then I'll do it okay I hope you press pause and tried it I'm going to do it now so when I look at this, this is 9x to the power of 6 plus 18x minus 54 there is no x term over here so x is not part of the greatest common factor the greatest common factor uh, is going to be what what's the greatest common factor going to be do you know your 9 times tables 9 18 27 36 45 and then 54 six nines is 54 right so the greatest common factor is 9 9 times x to the power of 6 gives 9 x to the power of 6 plus 9 times 2 gives 18 so 9 times 2 x would give this guy and 9 times what gives the last term 9 times negative 6 gives negative 54 right so on to example 3 and we have 17 x to the power of 4 minus 36 x squared uh, uh, y cubed minus 34 x squared y cubed minus 51 x y right so um, for fun press pause and see if you can do that whole thing yourself just to give you a chance to kind of make a mistake and bash away at it and then play the video and check your answer right so I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now and I'm going to suggest the first step is go ahead and factorize everything out just to make sure you don't make a mistake. You don't have to do this. But I mean, it doesn't really take that long and a lot of students don't want to write out algebra because they think it takes a long time. But think of it, it's not as long as writing Shakespeare, is it? You know, and you know, it's a good good idea usually. Most students need to take probably one or two more steps when they're solving algebra problems just to make sure you don't make a mistake because the problem with math is if you make one mistake the whole thing is wrong so that's what you don't want to do now if you know your 17 times tables you might suspect too because two sevens is 14 you might suspect that 17 goes into this don't you right so just for fun I'm gonna write this down this is actually 17 times 2. 34 is 17 times 2. And then we have x times x and then y, y, y. You know, you don't have to write it out this way. I'm just breaking it down to make it as clear as and concise as possible so you can see it. But, I mean, you don't have to write this line out if you don't want to. I'm just, I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible. But anyway, if you look at 51, 2, look, if you know your 7 times tables, 3 sevenths is 21. So you might suspect, what's this? 51 is see three tens is thirty three sevens is twenty one in fact seventeen times three see three sevens twenty one carry the two and 
three one is three and two is five. Three seventeens is fifty one. So that's actually seventeen times three times x times y, right? So now pull out a greatest common factor and write it, write down your answer. Okay, so the greatest common factor, well, 17 goes into everything, right? For one thing. What else goes into each term? Well, we have four x's here and two x's here, but there's only one x over here. So if you take the x terms, you can only pull out one x from each because there's only one x that's common to each term. Now, is there anything else that's common to each term? Write it down a y. There's one y value, uh, w one y is common to each term, right? So 17xy is the greatest common factor, okay? So 17xy times what gives the top? Well, you just write in whatever's left. So 17xy times 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2. This 3x's and 2y's gives this, minus and then we have 2, and then we have x, y, y, and then we have just the number 3, right? So the answer is 17xy times x cubed y squared minus 2xy squared minus 3, right? And especially if you're taking a test, you want to check that, right? So 17xy times that would be 17, and then x times x cubed is x to the power of 4, y times y squared is y cubed, okay? 17 times negative 2 is minus 34, and then x times x is x squared, and y times y squared is y cubed, and then, oops, 17xy times negative 3 is negative 51xy, right? And that is what we started with. So, so this is the correct answer here, right? Now, last example. Example 4 is this is 4x to the power of 8 minus 4x to the power of 6 minus 36x to the power of 5 plus 8x to the power of 4. Press pause, do the whole thing yourself, and write down the answer. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now, so I hope you press pause and try this yourself. So if I do it now, I'll get, and I, I guess I could write it all out. Hmm. You, I mean, you, a lot of you are not going to write this out like this, and that's fine. I'm writing out, uh, but I'm just doing it just in case uh, it makes it clearer. Okay. And, um, okay, this is 30, so well, I could just do 36, and then x to the power of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then plus 8, x to the power of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So you mightn't want to write out like that, and that's fine. Um, you might, as long as you get the correct answer, that that's fine. But um, if I was to write out like this, it might help a little bit. The greatest common factor is what? Well, what goes, what number goes into each coefficient? What number goes into each coefficient there? Well, 4 goes into each one, right? Um, and what, how many x's are common to each? Well, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 here. And then we have, of course, 4 here. And then we have 4 here. And we have 4 here, right? So we can pull out 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4 x's, or 4 x to the power of 4 and then times what gives the top? Well remember we pulled out 4 so times uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 of them and this really is looking like a mess isn't it? So the way I've picked is, is very messy doing this so you might have done it a, a neater way uh, than me. This is 9 and then we've got just 1x and then plus and then 4 you see we pulled 4 out so that's 2 right? 4 times 2 gives 8, 4 times 9 is 36. But you just might have, you might have just decided, well, if I look at that, I know 4 goes into everything, so I can pull out a 4, and I know x to the power of 4 goes into everything, and you might have just done it this way, and said 4x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 4 gives this, and then 4x to the power of 4 times negative x squared would give this, 
and then 4 times negative 9 is negative 36 and x to the power of 4 times x would be x to the power of 5 and 4 times 2 would be 8 and x to the power of 4 would go there so you know you might just pull out the 4 the x to, 4 x to the power of 4 right away and then just write this in you don't actually have to do all of this stuff in between but anyway either way as long as you can get the correct answer you are correct